All right, today's brain drops is something that happened over the weekend and a lot of people ask me about. How can it snow when it's about 40 degrees? Because it happened a lot this weekend. This is not the most interesting graphic you'll ever see, but it's showing you the observations from Portland. When it was 44 degrees, this is the dew point, so the measure of humidity, 40% humidity. Notice as it's snowing, temperatures are in the mid-30s. At one point, I, it was 39 and snowing in Portland, okay? And you'll notice the dew point has gone up. Well, why does this matter? The only way it can snow when it's that warm is if the snowflakes are evaporating on the way down. And when things evaporate, uh. they cool the air, right? That's, so that's how uh, sweat works on your skin. You get water on there, it evaporates, that cools your skin. So that process is also happening in the atmosphere. Let's go to the picture here that I took uh, of one of the snow squalls. This looks like summer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like very thunderstorm. convective, thundery looking. But underneath the cloud base, notice this darker area. This is actually the snowflakes going down and evaporating. So they're not reaching the ground at this point. What they're doing, though, is cooling the air, cooling the air. So this column of air is likely below freezing. So now the snowflakes all the way down to here, it's almost able to get to the ground before it actually melts. And if you looked closely, you could actually see some of the, the big snowflakes. They were thick, yeah. Big snowflakes, and right before they hit the ground, out. a lot of them, gone, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's just too warm. Uh, there's an interesting calculator, only probably interesting to people <laughs> like me. Check this out. This is a snow probability calculator. So basically, if it's dry, your surface temperature can be warmer because more evaporation is go going to occur. So it can be 49 degrees, I hope this works, and <laughs> the relative humidity is 5%, it will snow. It will snow oh. at 49 degrees if it is that dry. Now, Rachel, I don't know if we have time to do this. If you can change the relative humidity over to 70%, let's see. All right, now I submit that again. Now it's wet. It will snow in hell before it snows <laughs> here. So it needs to be extremely dry if it's going to be that warm, but yeah. there are instances it could snow into the 40s. I'm sure a lot of teachers who watch possibly pick up on these plans for their, for their yeah. classrooms. Yeah, they do. All right, Keith, thanks so much.